What is up guys? We are back. If you don't know what's going on, stay tuned because you're about to find out. We got some snow coming in tonight and it is just starting now. This is about nine o'clock. We're gonna head over about five miles north from here over into the snow band and I'm gonna go help my buddy out with one of his zero tolerance contracts. And then if you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get into some residentials, a couple commercials. So stick around, we'll see you there. Nine o'clock and in the next 24 hours, we're supposed to get about five inches of snow, maybe six, maybe eight, you know, they never know. Right now I'm heading in to go help out one of my buddies who has a contract which is uh, zero tolerance because it's a nursing home. Basically any any snow, we gotta clear. So I'm heading out there. Like I said, it's uh, about, f ooh, I just slipped. But uh, yeah, it's thick out right now. It's about five miles north of here. We're gonna go help him out. It's actually my other buddy who's at the property right now. That we're going to help out go check it out and uh see what we can't figure out over there probably hang out there until the real snow starts and then we will be off to the races doing our residentials and our commercial properties so stick with us stay tuned we'll see you guys out there so we actually had a pretty decent storm the other day um friday night coming into saturday morning and saturday throughout the day what happened was they called for less than an inch trace to an inch of snow we ended up getting hammered with about six, seven inches of snow. I think the high was five degrees, and while we were plowing, it was sitting around negative two, so with wind chill, it was a lot colder than that. But we were out there getting some plowing in. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on video, um, but as you can see, this road is covered here. The day after that, we ended up getting about half inch of freezing rain. So layer that on top of it and it was a nightmare. Hopefully everything is not too big of a mess right now. Our weather's crazy here, so like I said, it was negative three or whatever it was the other day, and today the high was four to three degrees. But tonight we are getting some wind and a lot of snow. As you can see, it is a complete whiteout right now, and I can't see anything. Luckily, we're one of the few people on the roads right now. I'm in a 2018 Ford F250 Power Stroke. Extended cab life, and unfortunately, I have a plow on it with halogen headlights. So, we need to get some LEDs. County plow coming in hot. We want to make sure he doesn't hit us. We'll give him some room. We get blasted by his drift. So, we're almost to our first property now. Paxton should be waiting for us there. Hopefully, he's got the machines warmed up, but we should be ready to get clear of the snow as soon as I, as soon as I get there. We're pulling in here now, and we will see you guys shortly. Forgot to tell you, I got a eight and a half foot Fisher V plow on the front of this. And uh, basically that's what I used to do all our residential properties. And we have two commercial properties that we also do. Last year I was only doing residential. It was my first year plowing for myself. And I had about 30 driveways. And this year I have uh, 35 residentials and two commercial accounts. As I'm doing right now, I also help out my buddy who's in the same field of business out in uh, more of the snow belt than I am so we're going up there pulling up to his property right now I'll show you guys what it's all about basically these are a bunch of I don't know if they're nursing homes or it's more of like a long-term living facility for the elderly and there's sidewalks throughout here there's 12 of these houses each one of them has a driveway each one of them has a sidewalk up to the door you can see right there and they have a sidewalk cutting across from the door back to the driveway that's what we got guys so looks like they had a little bit more accumulation than we did they always get a little bit more snow up here so it doesn't surprise me snow started a little bit sooner out here looks like he's got the machines warmed up so let's get ready to make it happen boys and this is our very first snow plow vlog you can see parker out there getting bundled up because he will be starting out on the four-wheeler that will be out in the loader, and then uh, we're actually going to switch if the snow continues. It's a lot easier plowing in the truck, but I don't mind doing this. This is back to my roots. This is where it all started. This is the first place I started uh, plowing snow, pushing snow, was at this property. And it was on a four-wheeler. Actually, my four-wheeler. The guy I used to work for paid me to bring it here and use my four-wheeler. When I was about 16 years old, and I am 23 years old now, and I have my truck. And it feels good being back here in my truck and knowing what I used to pull up in my little car, get on the four-wheeler, but that's Parker and we are gonna get to work. So we got Parker over here somewhere, Paxton, if we can find him.
Here he goes. It's bad out. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty bad out there. It is coming down hard. We are, uh, yeah, we're gonna start pushing this. So I did forget to bring my chest mount. I don't know where it is. It actually might be in my back seat. But if it isn't, I'm gonna somehow figure out how to get some footage in that tractor. If I don't get as much as I want, you know, don't blame me. I'll do better next time. Let's go uh, start pushing some snow, clearing some driveways. So it looks like our buddy Ryan, whose contract this is, turns out he couldn't sleep like he said he wanted to. He decided to bring us some food, so we're gonna take a burger break. We got the place cleared up for the first time. Parker's still working on the last driveway over there real quick. <laughs> I heard his burger break. All right guys, so it's about 2 a.m. and uh, we've been hanging out in the truck for a couple hours just sitting here waiting for the snow to pile up and really we've only gotten probably another inch if that so we are gonna get out and hop out and do another clear the wind's blowing a lot tonight it's like 25 mile per hour gust of wind so a lot of the snow is just snow drifts and stuff so we're gonna get out and do that um there's still not enough snow for us to go hit up commercial accounts or any of our residentials like i said there's probably only an inch inch and a half maybe that's fallen and that's in the heaviest part right now so we are gonna do another clear here, then go start our residential list. So stay tuned. All right, what's up guys? So we're back, it is six o'clock in the morning and we never really got the snow like we were supposed to get hit with last night. But right now we got this weird thing going on where there's not even an inch of snow in people's driveways and all these companies wanna be out here plowing. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's literally a dust thing. But yeah, there seems to be quite a few people out pushing the snow i'm just running around checking up some properties it's just like i thought doesn't look like there's any snow here no real accumulation so we are gonna go catch some disease all right now we go home it's 6 39 right now so it looks like we're good to go what is up guys we are back in the truck and as you can see the sun is shining it's about two o'clock i went home i was able to get like four or five hours of sleep which was really nice because i think in the last four days i've actually slept less than 10 hours so that was nice to catch up on some sleep but we never really got the, i kept waking up in the middle of my nap to check and we never the snow never came again so it does say we're getting about five to eight inches tonight again you never know they said we were getting a foot of snow last night and we ended up with about a trace to an inch, so literally less than an inch. It is a complete whiteout now. We dropped her down into four wheel just to be safe. 
I can't see anything in case we got any cars coming flying at us. We're gonna have to be able to yank ourselves out of the way or out of a ditch, you never know. But is it a complete whiteout right now? We probably got snow falling at like two, three inches an hour. It's uh, yeah, it came a lot later than they thought. This is what I was talking about we were supposed to get hit with earlier. To me right now, if it keeps up like this, then we are gonna get absolutely smacked tonight, boys. Stay tuned if you wanna see some pretty sick snow plowing. I'm getting blinded by that semi truck that just went by right now. But you know the deal, I'm heading down to help my buddy out while we wait for the snow to pile up. Right now it's nine o'clock at night, so people are going to sleep, so we can wait couple hours I'll probably head out start doing our properties around 1 o'clock so stay tuned boys so I told you it's a 2018 Ford F-250 extended cab 6.7 power stroke diesel it is only an XLT but she is a workhorse and this guy is coming right at me so that is exactly what I mean boys and I would have had it on footage that that was his fault another good reason to always have a camera going while you're plowing I really can't see like more than 15, 10 feet in front of me at a time right now. So we're taking it, we're going, I guess we're going the speed limit. We're going 30 and a 30. It's definitely not the safest drive. So stay tuned. If you can't tell by my stylish new goggles, it is snowing pretty hard out right now. And I just got to the cottage. As you can see, Ryan's on the new tractor. I am gonna show you that, but it is falling really hard right now. So I'm gonna have to hop out. I'm getting on the four wheeler. This guy went down, so we went and bought a new tractor today. He uh, got a new Mahindra because John Deere left a bad taste in his mouth. I tried to film, but it's literally 11 degrees out and the GoPro batteries do not like to stay charged when it is cold. We weren't doing much filming out there. I had to keep my fingers covered and I was just out there for about two hours, two and a half hours and I am absolutely frozen. So I'm sitting in the truck right now, warming up. It's about midnight right now. And it looks like, if I look at the radar, it looks like the heaviest amount of snow has already fallen. So I am probably gonna go grab a coffee and start hitting up our route. All right, sorry guys. So I figured this angle was kind of weird for my residentials because a lot of my driveways are at like steep inclines, so you couldn't really see it. But we're heading to our commercial properties now. It's like 5.30 in the morning, and we are gonna go start our first commercial property. Usually it takes about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how much snow we got. Then we got a church we gotta do, which takes about an hour. So we got about two, two and a half hours left, and then we're done with our route for the day. 35 residentials so far with two commercials left to do. So we will see you guys over at our commercial property. Oh, oh, oh. 
is up guys so we are at our last stop of the day our last commercial property it is a nice little church over here and as you can see it is on a main road so i'm waiting for some cars to come by but this is our last stop of the day we're gonna do this you know take our time got nothing else to do stick around i hope you guys enjoy my commercial plowing content so first i always clear the entrances um, this church, it technically has two entrances, but the building next to it, the guys that plow that do the other entrance. So we're going to start over here, start with the entrance. We're going to push the entrance way inwards into the parking lot. And then basically we're going to cut up through here. Um, and you guys will be able to see that. You'll know what I'm talking about. I'm a very visual learner, so I don't like learning things by being told. I like seeing and doing. You see, we're pushing the entrance way inwards and that is how I like to start it we're gonna swing around here come up here angle out wing out grab our edge and bring it on into over here and we're gonna push our banks back a little bit we are supposed to get some more snow this week, I believe, at the end of the week. So today it's Tuesday. I don't think we're seeing any more snow until like Friday. But still a good idea, a good habit to get into. Pushing your banks back, obviously, just be careful uh, and know what's underneath where you're pushing, underneath the snow. Obviously, that comes back to preparation at the beginning of the season. Oops, get this crap out of here. We're just clearing a spot, like I said, wide enough that my truck's gonna be able to back into these spots, into the cleared spots, and we're gonna windrow up back towards the back of the property where most of our snow gets piled. So that is the game plan, and I hope you guys enjoy. What is up guys so it is now the following night and we have everything cleaned up i hope you guys enjoyed our very first plowing vlog you know i know you guys on tiktok you've been telling me to do it for a while here it is i hope you enjoyed it and i will get better angles next time i gotta go get some new gopro mounts and stuff i'm not happy with uh just the angles we were getting of like i said those residential driveways especially so i will work on that next run but i hope you guys liked it if you liked it and if you're here still here then please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. Stay tuned. I'll have more coming for you guys. And it, they won't always be work. You know, we have fun too. That We're either fishing, hunting, or working basically. We're on the lake. But I'll take you guys along for it. I hope you guys like the video. And like I said, subscribe for more. So stay tuned.